I just went and borrowed this paint depth meter from a friend of mine who runs a dealership here in town. It's uh, about a five or six hundred dollar unit, so not something I can justify owning, but it sure is handy to have when you're trying to evaluate a car. At any rate, he tells me that you want to see paint depth. That's 2.7 mils there. You want to see paint depth plus or minus one mil all around the car if it's factory paint. And um, the typical measurements will be in the two and a half to three and a half mil range. And that if a panel's been painted, it might have an extra mil or two on it. If it's got Bondo in it, it'll have quite a bit more than that. Possibly even pegging out the meter. So up to this point, these uh, readings are consistent with factory paint. Let me get back here to the left of the quarter. And the gas cap, which is consistent with a panel that has been repainted. That corroborates what a friend of mine who's a paint and body guy told me. He looked the car over after I bought it. I'd already spotted what he told me, which is that the rear bumper has been painted. And that's by eye. You can't measure that with the paint depth meter because it only works on metal if the buffer's plastic. Um, and the, also the left rear quarter has been painted, which it's a very good match. The color is spot on. If you can, in person, you can look at it and see that the left rear quarter has actually got a smoother finish. It has less orange peel than the factory paint. And I, I have not been able to capture that in images or in video, but in person, if you have a good eye, you can find it if you're looking for it. It's not something you'd notice walking by the car. The other little tattletales is there's a very minor little paint line right up underneath the edge of that trim there. That's kind of a tattletale. The other sign of previous damage is apparently the second accident must have been, I don't even know how it shows up on the Carfax. There's this little dent, but depending on the angle and the lighting, you can see it or not. In the dim light that we have right now, it's actually a lot easier to spot. In the bright light, it's almost impossible to see it, but I think I can show it to you there. And then there's another little thing here, and I'm my own worst enemy when I'm showing a used car, but I prefer full disclosure and no surprises. There's a little spot, a scratch here, where the previous owner laid touch-up paint on there, and clearly, they're not a professional. My detail guy said he could buff that paint off and uh, lay some new touch up in there and make it disappear practically but to me it wasn't really worth it um, same thing with the rear bumper my paint and body guy said he could pull the bumper off fix the little the little dent and repaint it put it back on but for a few hundred dollars again didn't seem worthwhile to me i took detailed pictures of all the little rock chips that i could find on the car and they're included in the photos but i'll go over them here again we've got Little chip there, little chip there, little chip there. Chip, chip, chip. You know, like I said, I, I know I can pick a car apart. This is nothing that any 40,000 mile car wouldn't have. But I'd just rather show you everything. Little parking lot curb scrape. You have to lay on the ground to see it, but it's there. Let's see, other than the rock chips in the nose, we've got a little chip right here, here, and here. A uh, little dingy right there. Let's see that. Um, no door dings. I did have the car PDR'd. They took a couple of minor little door dings out of it, but it was very straight to begin with. Seems like there was another one over here. Tiny little scratch, very light. That might even buff out. Hold it here. 
you know. Anyhow, the car presents beautifully, but just wanted to show you everything I know. So that's it.